All right. You guys having a good time now? Nice. So uh, this is the, you know, we're getting an idea of the show now. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you something. Uh, my parents now have been in uh, Canada 41 years. They, uh, they moved from India to Canada 41 years ago. I don't know how they picked it or whatever, but they were like, Canada. And I was like, okay, well, maybe when you get there, you'll be able to say it. So, um... <laughs> But when my dad first moved to Canada, he didn't just want to live here, you know what I mean? He didn't want to be a guy that just lived in Canada, he wanted to become a Canadian. And he thought that there was things that you could do to become a Canadian, like, like you just do a couple of things and bang, overnight you're a Canadian, you know what I mean? I used to come up with these schemes when I was a kid. I remember one time when I was a little kid, he called me, he was like, son, come here. Here's the thing with Indian parents, too. They, they never just um, tell you directly to come and do something. They, uh, they, it's, it's just not that kind of culture, you know what I mean? Indian parents will not boss you around like that. Hey, come here. Because the, they, they have salesmen built into them, you know what I mean? <laughs> no matter what the situation is, they feel the need to convince you to do something, you know what I mean? And sometimes they'll just take one word and make it sound like a question to make you come there and be like, Russell, come. 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 So remember this one night, right? My dad was like, son, tonight we will become Canadians. I said, dad, um, I was already born here. I think I got it covered. <laughs> okay, but what's your plan? He goes, son, I have bought a barbecue. <laughs> I go, well, what are you gonna do? Cook the rest of Canada and we're the only ones left? <laughs> no, Canadians like to eat the barbecue. I go, Dad, they don't actually eat the barbecue, but I think I know where you're going with this. I go, what's your plan? He goes, tonight, we will have a barbecue in the backyard. We will invite all the neighbors. They will come over, eat our food, and think we are a Canadian. I said, Dad, if they eat our food, they're going to know we're not Canadian. Our food will have flavor. It's funny, sometimes Canadian people, white folks get mad at that joke. Hey, hey, hey. You don't diss our boiled potatoes. <laughs> right, sometimes I put salt in that water. <laughs> so my dad said, no, no, son, I have bought white food <laughs> for the barbecue. I go, what the hell is white food? <laughs> you know, hamburgers, hot dogs. Hamburgers and what? <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> what? What the hell's a hot dog? <laughs> hot dog, hot dog, you know? Hot dog. <laughs> Garam kutas. <laughs> oh, hot dogs. <laughs> Well, whatever fancy name you want to give them. <laughs> and I remember that night, you know, my dad had all the neighbors over and he was standing behind the grill looking so proud and I walked back in the backyard and he goes, huh, son, huh? 
Do I look Canadian? I go, you look like an Indian guy in Canada. <laughs> but is everybody having a nice time? Everybody seems to be having a nice time. Then why do you keep on staring at me? Well, the rice keeps falling through the grill. <laughs> this is a stupid method for cooking. <laughs> Show me how to do this. Show. Show. Uh, folks, you guys ready to keep this thing moving? <laughs> Canada's west coast is known for its high mountain peaks and its cool glacial lakes. And this next act brings you the essence of both. He's a tall drink of water. Please welcome Vancouver's Dave Nystrom!